So hi, hello and welcome to Under Miami Blue Sky. It's a beautiful day here in Łódź and I took you to the top level of this parking garage because I wanted to get some high ground with my Cayman and I'm going to tell you all about the wing. <laughs> It's a most recognizable and noticeable detail on my 987 Cayman GT4. So where did it come from? I knew I wanted a wing, I knew I needed one, but the standard offers didn't really work out for me, so I kept looking and looking, I was going through some internet pages, forums, eBay, and then I saw the for the first time, then I, I, that was the moment I saw for the first time the 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport project and I knew I wanted a wing like that. Swan neck wing means basically the spoiler is not lying on the supports but it's suspended underneath them. Uh, this is to give the aerodynamics effect. The design is all about airflow separation. I'm not going to go into detail. It's all about getting more downforce in efficient way. I put a link to a video explaining the whole thing in the description below. But for me the most important thing uh, was the looks, the amazingly spectacular looks. Then I ordered a model of the GT4 Club Sport car and that is still standing on my desk. This detail, even in such small edition, is for me an element of beauty that inspires, drives me and pleases me on a daily basis. I was looking for such wing for my car for a long, long time and actually the only thing I found was an offer from China. Uh, communication with the seller was difficult, it was, it was awful. Uh, I expected quality problems and plus there was a problem, uh, the fact that uh, it was dedicated to a 718 Cayman and I was concerned, concerned it will not fit. After a few months of waiting it came I have just received a super expected package from China. It's a swan neck wing and it's supposed to be tremendous and wonderful. And how it's gonna be, we're gonna see in a moment. I can't wait to see what's inside. All right. First obstacle is gone now, removing some paperboard and just take a look at this, what is it? Yes, it's exactly what I hoped for and it's exactly what it's supposed to be. I'm just gonna need some extra tool. Just take a look at this. How huge is this? It's, it's, it's gigantic. Okay, so first impressions, what can I say? The wing itself, it doesn't seem to be a premium quality. It's empty on the inside. So I have some concerns about is this going to be reliable? How it's gonna behave under the influence of wind? Uh, how it's gonna take the downforce? created by the speed but besides that it's wonderful it's beautiful it's great I'm gonna make a great use of it okay so plans for this wing I'm thinking maybe I should wrap it carbon fiber I think it would look amazing because now it's like you know, this cheap looking plastic, empty on, the in uh, empty on the inside. I'm thinking, yes, carbon fiber wrap. It's gonna be a fake carbon fiber, but it doesn't matter. It's not a, you know, 
hypercar, it's just a sports car, so it's gonna look great. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up, put it back in, and we're gonna see how it's gonna look installed on the car. The texture was ugly, the wing was painted, and shortly after that wrapped in a bubble wrap, and it caused a bubble to imprint itself on the surface of the wing. This was the first problem that needed to be solved. I decided to cover the wing with a wrap imitating carbon. I didn't want to mislead anyone by suggesting it's real carbon. Uh, and I believe it doesn't look real. However, it looks really nice. The, unaccept the unacceptable wing structure was not the only problem. I did not, uh, it did not fit the car at all. That was the biggest issue. Uh, once, uh, uh, once it was designed for the 718 and the second thing is it wasn't really precisely made. The boys from Carbon Liveries came to rescue. They carry out an amazing project to bring back to life and give new layers of beauty to the classic 911s. And they designed a new fastening element uh, made of a forged aluminium block, powdered, coated and professionally installed, giving the effect that you see right now. We are here at Carbon Liveries in Łódź. Guys are specializing in classic 911s, but we are gonna do something special tonight. We are going to install a wing on my 987 Cayman GT4 project. It's gonna correspond to a 718 Cayman GT4 club sport, so it's gonna be a swan neck wing. It's gonna be epic. I can't wait to see the first result. Guys here have a complete lineup of classic 911s. Let's see inside the workshop where the magic is being made. The car is going now to the shop and we are gonna start the project. The next step in my project is done. The wing is installed, the car is ready and the guys did a magnificent, wonderful job. Just just take a look at that. It looks like a racing car. It like it looks like a racing car for the road. It fits perfectly. Just look at these lines. All right, so this is the update on my 987 Cayman GT4. I think with this wing it finally deserves its name. 987 Cayman GT4. I love looking at this wing. Every angle brings new sensations. When I look at, uh, when I look at the car, uh, just walking to it in a garage, uh, looking in the side mirror above the shapely hip of a car, or when I look in the rear view mirror when it blocks my view, I'm amazed every time. It has become an inseparable element of my car. Without it, I wouldn't dare to name it 987 Cayman GT4 project. So how about you? How do you like my wing? Does it constitute the name of GT4? Let me know in the comments section below. Click the thumb up and please subscribe to my channel to get the next stories about my project and other unique cars. All right, thank you for watching and see you next time under Miami Blue Sky. Bye bye.